All right, guys, welcome to New River Gorge. We got uh, TJ, Mike, and uh, Mike's son, and I brought Amelia with me. So we, uh, we got a real fun weekend. We don't have a lot of road miles to do, but this is gonna be an overlanding trip of the New River Gorge. Uh, it's mostly dirt roads. I came here in 2020. I think I have a video on my channel of it, uh, but it was a real fun trip. We're gonna see some a lot of mining history, railroad history, and whatnot. So we're starting out here at Grandview Overlook. It's uh, really awesome. It's uh, here to, where the New River Gorge, New River makes a, uh, bunch of turns and all that glade glade falls is down there uh somewhere we're going to be uh, heading there next is the next stop uh we brought our little kids with us so it's uh, it's gonna be uh we did five hours on the in the jeep already so we're today's gonna be kind of a short day tomorrow's not a long day there's only a little under 100 miles total of, of uh dirt roads that we're gonna be doing but here is glade grand view All right, so we just gotten through Dillon, West Virginia. If you blinked, you would have missed it. Uh, we're coming down CR 415, I believe is the road. Irish Mountain Road is the name of it. We're uh, on our way down to Sandstone Falls Boardwalk. We're, um, this is the last stop on this side of the river. The rest of the uh, trip, we're gonna be on the we're on the west side of the river, we'll be on the east side of the river for the rest of the remainder of the trip. There's not a lot of places to cross over back and forth to get around. So um, this is not the road that like Google or what or uh, Waves routed us. This is uh, some roads that I found because it's from uh, the visitor center to the Sandstone Falls. It's saying it's an hour drive. Even the visitor center said it was a one hour drive. So we are uh, kind of taking these nice dirt roads down there. All right, guys, so we are at Sandstone Falls here in uh, New River Gorge. Uh, we're going to go check this out. And I think Amelia wants to get her feet in the water, don't you? Yes. All right, let's go check out the water. All right, so uh, we had a little bit of change in plans. We're coming down uh, County Road 26, which is paralleling the river. We're going upstream to uh, set backtrack. We're gonna go to Hinton, uh, this old railroad town, a lot of railroad history in it. We're gonna, and then uh, that's where we're gonna cross over the river right before that and then swing back up to the Sandstone Visitor Center. So it was uh, just something different. We wanted to check out this town instead of backtracking back up that, that road we just came down that uh, dirt road so um, I'm gonna go check out the town of Hinton West Virginia all right so we are here at the historic Hinton railroad station really really cool they've they've restored the inside of the building really nice uh the waiting area for amtrak this is a live amtrak rail so uh it was really cool to see the historical buildings triple triple main line coming through here you see the historic old tower this was a rail yard at one point further down this tracks this is going upstream further up the tracks is another historic building uh, there's no pictures of it on Google, and then you can in the just behind the uh, bridge is the water, uh, old water tower. So a lot of a lot of historical uh, railroad his history here down here. So pretty cool that we made this stop. Uh, so we're inside the historic buildings, the old witness, the current waiting room for Amtrak. Then uh, I think through here is where the. Uh, 
the deli and the very convenience store where you get food. And then here is, I believe, would be the ticket office right here. You see the old ticket window. All right, really cool little town here, West Virginia. You can definitely tell it's a, a lot of history with railroading. But we're going to continue on. All right, so we just left the Th Sandstone Visitor Center. It had a really good video, 12-minute video, about the history of the area and the watershed and pollution and all that. It was really cool. Good to see. Uh, got some uh, little history of the, of the area. Now we are working our way downstream uh, to camp. Uh, camp tonight is hoping to be Army War Ridge. War Ridge Camp is uh, our hope to be spot. Uh, you can only do uh, camping in uh, designated campsites. There's no primitive camping allowed in the New River Gorge. So um, hopefully we can find spots for the two alley cabs and TJ's uh, tent. If not, we'll have to uh, swing a little bit further into the park. Uh, but we want to try to get started to get to camp early for the kiddos. But uh, let's, let's we're going to click our way on. We uh, have about 24 miles to go. Most of it's going to be on dirt road, I think. So we made it up here to war camp. We're the only ones here. Just getting started with camp. We put the two alley cabs back to back and uh, the awnings kind of over each other. And uh, everything's working out pretty good. The kids are playing frisbee, running around. We're gonna start making dinner. A little, uh, roads were a little different today. I uh, was very surprised with uh, uh, I think they just paved one of the roads since the map was made because it should have been a dirt road and it looked like a very fresh um, a very fresh uh, paved road but we we're able to make up some time the kids were, have been in the car since about seven o'clock this morning so it's been a long day for them so they have they did get some running around time at the park at Grandview but now they're up playing some frisbee run around make dinner we're gonna do some wars on the fire it's gonna be a fun night so let's get camp uh, up and running dinner. Good morning from camp. Uh, we had a busy morning with two little rugrats running around, but uh, we had a real good morning with, uh, with camp. Forgot to get the camera out, but we did a uh, some pancakes and Mike did bacon. So it was a real good breakfast. Uh, camp is all broken down for the day. We're all just getting in and getting going. So the plan for today is to, uh, we don't have much road miles to do. Uh, today's gonna be an easy day just with the kids. So we uh, hit the dirt road, go to Prince. Uh, then we're gonna hang out at Prince for a little bit because Mike has to run to a Dollar General to get some stuff. And then, uh, Thurman and then it's uh, just dirt roads uh, with some random sites all the way to Babcock State Forest where we have a campsite reserved for tonight with the uh, in the State Forest we're gonna see the grist mill and then depending on time we'll make it to Nuttenberg town which is where the coal chute is coal uh, conveyor belt and the National Park Service has completely restored that so that's kind of the agenda for today. Uh, this is War Ridge Camp. Really, really great campsite. Uh, they're not level, which was kind of a little bit of a bummer, but uh, uh, they're real nice long RV slots. They're doing some type of clear cutting. Trying, we couldn't figure out what it was. And then uh, these posts here, this is for where you put your trash so bears can't get to it. So, all right, let's go hit the road. Get some miles under our belt. Let's go like this.
All right, so we are on County Road 25. It's a uh, unmaintained road. We picked it up right in Prince. Uh, and um, it's, it's a real hard uh, hairpin turn off of the road that goes into Prince. Pretty fun road. Definitely some big puddles and big bumps. So uh, we're taking this into Thurman. This is one of the most primitive roads I think that we've had so definitely that we've had so far. Um, but I think we're gonna, the rest of the, most of it today is going to be on uh, dirt roads. So we're looking forward to it. Thurman's a really cool railroad town. It was one of the richest towns in uh, West Virginia because that's where all the coal miners would come into to get on the train to then go to Chicago and Pittsburgh and New York City and other places so they, they would deposit all their checks and get cash out at the bank there is one of the most uh, the busiest bank in West Virginia or on the East Coast I think so but uh, people going down the river you see them So we are exploring the town of Thurman. Just had a uh, good lunch. Was able to get the awning out on the alley cab. Got the definitely brought the temperature down a little bit underneath to sit. But uh, here's the historic town of Thurman. Got the post office, a double line main line with a spur, and then, uh, here is the part that they have restored at the outside of the buildings. Inside the buildings are not. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And she goes, what'd you get? A duck. Yeah. Finally got your duck, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, and then we're going to put it on the heat. <laughs> so here we got the, uh, the three buildings that they've restored the exterior to. A lot of history of this town. So here is three of the buildings. You have a, a, a bank, and a, another uh, random building, and then the National Bank of Thurman. These are some of the richest banks in West Virginia just because the miners come down here to deposit their checks and then get on the trains to go elsewhere. So. All right, so here we are. We're coming out of Thurman on uh, on the main road coming out of Thurman, the quote unquote main road. We're uh, just on, it's, it's mostly dirt. It's a nice road here for overlanding. A lot of potholes in it. There, uh, there was a lot of downed trees. There was a pretty bad storm that rolled through this area a couple weeks ago and a lot of roads were closed while the National Park Service was cleaning them up. So we've seen a lot of remnants of that. But uh, this is what we're expecting. We have about 16 miles to get to Babcock State Forest. Um, and that's where we're going to spend the rest of the day. All 
All right, so we are here at Babcock State Forest. Made it here. The uh, kiddos are real excited to get to camp a little bit early. So uh, we're gonna go check out the grist mill. Let's go check it out. Give me, Vincent. Hey, no, come back, sit down, sit down. I gotta take a picture. Dude, your face is dirty. Not much to see inside the grist mill. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool to see some of the older uh, machinery and such. But you see this. You see this grist mill. A lot of uh, fall time pictures, you see, uh, postcards, Instagram. Very famous grist mill with the uh, with the leaves changing. So pretty cool to see. Hey guys, Rob uh, here. We are at Babcock State Forest. We had a uh, we got here, had a great time checking in. Really nice campground. Got great sites, uh, flat sites. Uh, real nice bathhouse with uh, bathrooms and showers and whatnot. But uh, we got all set up. Had some really good uh, tacos for dinner with some uh, nachos. And uh, we looked at the forecast, and it's going to start raining first thing in the morning and rain all day tomorrow down here in West Virginia. So uh, we don't feel like dealing with uh, wet tents and putting together to camp and all that in the rain. So we are going to, unfortunately, call this a trip um, and uh, push on the rest of the trip. So did you have a fun time? Yes. What was your favorite part? Uh, when we saw, like, the house. What house? Um, the house with the circle thing. Oh, the grist mill. Yeah. That was fat. That was cool. Yeah. All right. What do you say? If this was this a trip of ten? Uh, yes. All righty. Say, see you later. See you later. Thanks a lot, guys. Adios. Did we get it? Did we get the shot? I hope we got the shot. We got the shot. We got the shot.